button and interface introduction. First one is the signal sign in the menu, indicating the strength of the wireless signal. The second sign is the alarm buzzer sign, which can switch on or off the alarm buzzer. The third is the boat speed icon. We can switch the boat speed with the speed button. The number shown here represents the error code of the boat and the remote control. The motor protection icon is displayed here if the motor protection is activated. These are the battery icon of the boat and the battery icon of the remote control. This shows the current operation mode. We have four modes of operation, which is manual mode, autopilot mode, navigation mode, path planning mode. The position and accuracy factor is displayed here. The lower, the better. The positioning of the bait boat is more accurate normally, with this number below the 2.5. Here shows the current fishing field. This is the number of satellites searched for the dual-mode satellite, the electronic compass angle of the bait boat, and the remote control. The status of the boat lights. We can switch on or off the lights. Here is bait status. Press once to release the left side hopper. Press twice to release the right side hopper. We can change the settings. Set the hopper release mode to both side hoppers opening. The both hoppers with release at the same time when we press the hopper release button. Here is hook button. Single press to release left hook. Twice press to release the right hook. This value indicates the running current of left motor. And this one indicates the running current of right motor. The arrow represents the direction of the bait boat relative to the remote control. The following below represents the absolute direction of the boat. There are eight directions. The distance from the target spot during navigation. The distance from home spot. This value only displayed here when the starting spot was set. If 9,999 meters is shown here, the stored home spot is not in the current fishing field. In other words, the wrong fishing field has been selected. The boat speed value. The battery voltage of the boat. The current atmospheric pressure. The water depth of the current location is shown here. The water temperature of the current location is shown here. Here is the situation of riverbed, the different colors representing the strength of reflected waves. The top one displays the current selected fishing field. There are six fishing fields we can set, and each of them can store one home spot and 40 location spots. Here is the home spot. All fishing fields must store the home spot before the other location spots can be stored. Here I have displayed the automatic attribute values of spot, Every spot can be set to automatic bait, automatic decoupling, and automatic return. This is the path planning setting area. We can add any spot which has already stored into the path, and bait boat will follow the set path, navigate to each spot, and perform the automatic attributes of each spot.